11 o'clock, a quorum being present, the business meeting of the 65th West, uh, West Coast Science Fantasy Conference in Tonopah, Nevada. Long timeline, Kevin. <laughs> <laughs> the business meeting of the 65th West Coast Science Fantasy Conference in SeaTac, Washington will be in order. Before we go, uh, go into the agenda, as a curiosity here, is there anyone in this room who has never attended a WesterCon business meeting before? Oh my god. Okay, that's fine. Um, welcome, welcome. I'm sorry. No, no, not really. <laughs> You, you have attended, as far as I know, the, a relatively quiet version of this. Of this. <laughs> In contrast to last year's yeah. WesterCon business meeting, which is accessible through the WesterCon65.org website. Four. Yeah. Four. Dot org. Sorry. <laughs> Trying to keep them straight. Um, I have the agenda, which was published in the convention. Uh, I'm sorry, the uh, convention program book. There are no current committees of this organization scheduled to report, and none exist. No amendments to the WesterCon bylaws uh, received their first passage last year, and therefore nothing is up for ratification. For the information of those people who've never been to one of these meetings before, last year's business meeting lasted about two and a half hours and was totally consumed by a single piece of business, which was site selection business. It had nothing to do with the bylaws at that point, other than being ruled by said bylaws. That's one of the reasons why no matters of business ever made it through the meeting. information. Yes. When is the motion to adjourn your order? You could move it as I did pretty much at any time, but give me a moment, okay? okay. I have to give I want to give it I want to give any any loud a chance. Uh, item four on the agenda. See how fast we've gone in three minutes? Uh, item four on the agenda is new business. Is there anyone wishing to introduce a matter uh, uh, New business, primarily the amendments to the Western Con bylaws. Very good. That may, brings us to item five, which are announcements. Given the site selection uh, appears to be moving smoothly and quietly, not wood, <laughs> and given that there is actually no requirement to hold a site selection business meeting, unless there is a disputed election, which we do not appear to be heading for this year. Uh, it is not the intention of the chairman here to hold a site selection business meeting. It does appear on the schedule as an item for Sunday morning. Uh, the only reason that that would be needed would be if the site selection balloting, which closes at 5 o'clock tomorrow afternoon, which is the earliest it possibly can close under the bylaws, we were looking that up this morning just to make sure. Uh, if that selection had any dispute in the results, was unable to produce a result. Since we believe the site selection election will be able to produce a conclusive result, we don't plan to hold a meeting, and uh, it is the chair's intention to instruct the site selection administrator to tell the winning bid, as soon as your results are counted and final, to go ahead and you're seated, now start selling memberships. Yes? Sorry, question. Where is the bid selection okay. table? The site selection election table is yes. in the hall where you registered, in the main ballroom uh -huh. there. If you go to registration and keep walking ahead, it is at the far corner, in, ahead of you in the far corner on the left. Okay. There is, it is hidden over a corner. It there is was a, no sign, there's no... There number. is a little bit today, there is an item in the newsletter. <coughs> okay. So it is open today. Um, that's true until I think 6, but I'm not exactly sure on that. And it is open tomorrow from 10 a.m. to 5 p.m. And when it closes at 5, that's it. That's the end of the election. Are there any other questions about site selection process? Okay. Mr. Yellow. Uh, should a dispute or some other resolution prove require us to hold a meeting, how would you announce it? Um, there, what's the, there's a major item on Saturday night is what's the, 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 big, the big event. That's great. That's great. There's no other big event out there. 
Uh, the chair will, it, should it be necessary, and should the site selection administrator advise the business meeting of the need for such a meeting, the chair will go to the masquerade and do everything he can to get himself inserted at the end or the beginning or in the sideways or wherever an announcement needs to be made, that being the most likely way we can get an announcement out to the largest number of people possible. Yes. Uh, it, well, we will try to get into the newsletter, but the newsletter <coughs> uh, the official deadline is actually or to the, is actually uh, only one hour after the election ends. Yes. yes. Uh, we can make an exception for you. Yes. Yeah. I, 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 okay. Fine. Well, I, 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 and I'm going to go talk to site selection later today about uh, how I, I, we I, 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 we would we would take their announcements for the newsletter. So. The chairman is thoroughly hopeful that there's going to be no need. <laughs> Just wanted it on the right. That's right. Mr. Slady? Who chairs site selection? Ron Oaks is the person running site selection. Thank you. Are there any further questions about procedure, process? <coughs> no business to be introduced? Move to adjourn. Is there any objection to the business meeting adjourning at this time? There being none at 11.07. <laughs> Sure. <laughs>